peaceful flowing river, sunshine from above. So hi everybody, so I'm back with another video and in this video I'm going to be talking about genetics and what role it plays in growth, alright? Now many people believe that genetics play, I guess, the most important uh, part of growth or why we experience growth and um, you know that is to say well if you are connected or you come from a family that has quote unquote good hair then that's the only way you are going to see growth or length now genetics you know what role actually does it play in growth or hair growth studies have shown that genetics is responsible for the density of the hair the color the texture and the length some might say aha uh -huh. you see genetics you know it is responsible for length now what is meant by that well each person is made differently all right we understand that and we differ in terms of our weight all right the rate in which our hair grows it doesn't mean that um uh, we cannot grow our hair or we cannot experience growth it just means that the rate by which our hair grows will differ from person to person please bear in mind that i'm speaking from a general perspective there may be persons who have illnesses that directly affects their hair growth process but i would have you to know that someone who has a lower rate of hair growth can experience longer and healthier hair than someone who has a higher rate of hair growth. How so? Care and maintenance. Now consider these photos here. You will see that my hair is at one level and this was for a very long time and it was as a result of me not moisturizing my hair as regular, not uh, taking care of it, not detangling, not de deep conditioning. I mean, I was just not taking care of my hair. And if you look at these mark difference when I began taking care of my hair, you see that, I mean, the growth has been tremendous. Now, would we say that this is mainly due to genetics? Of course not. These are, let me see, these experiences that we have on a day-to-day -day basis, they are object lessons God uses to teach us spiritual lessons. For instance, let's consider the same principle of uh, genetics and care and maintenance. All right? Now, all the time when people come to Christ, they claim the scripture in John 1 and verse 2. It says that, But as many as received him, to them, gave he, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. Now when we come to Christ, he gives us power. So let's use that in a sense of being genetically in a spiritual context connected with Christ. He gives us power, alright, power to become his sons and daughters. And now we can have the same power that he has to get victory over sin. But do we just depend and say, well, I'm just genetically connected to Christ. I, have, I believe in him as my personal savior and by and by I will experience growth. Oh no, we have to do more than that. It says in John 15 verses 4 and 5, it says that we need to abide. Abide in me says, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can he except you abide in me. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me you can do nothing. Verse 7 says, If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you. We need to allow the words of Christ to abide in us. And that is by having daily communion with him, spending time in his word, reading, and allowing his spirit to convict us day by day of sin, righteousness, and judgment to come. And as we have that daily communion with him, now we can experience growth. As 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse 18 says, But grow in grace 
and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ so we see that maintenance is very very important genetics has its role all right but we see that maintenance having that daily experience is very very important let's consider one more thing a plant let's come to the let's say a tomato plant right now its genetic makeup is that you know it will bring forth tomato fruits but do you just put that plant in the ground and just leave it and said well it's a tomato plant and I will get tomatoes don't take care of it don't water it don't care for it and expect to get fruit expect it to grow no because it's genetically it's a tomato plant so genetics has its role but care and maintenance is very very important so I would say that genetics when it comes to growth it pays up it plays a very very small role care and maintenance is very important for growth so I really hope that you found this video helpful and not just say well I'm not connected to this one or I wasn't born into this family I can't experience growth that you will discard of that theory or to say well I accepted Christ and by and by I can do nothing and I will experience growth discard that theory care and daily maintenance is very very important so as i said i hope you found this video helpful and if you want to see some of my other videos as i talked about how to maintain growth and how to have healthy hair you can check out my other videos the mountains out my window all are tokens of your love lord i stand